Closing the Gap, Indigenous Health Campaign Criticism Introduction The Australian government expected to enhance the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's quality of life by creating a Closing the Gap campaign. The expected improvements were related to health, life expectancy, education, and employment. Starting in 2008, this program set seven targets but met only two of them by 2019. As a result, the Closing the Gap framework received criticism due to its failure in achieving goals and a lack of cooperation with representatives of Indigenous Australians. Unreached Targets Closing the Gap program's most significant and notable drawback is that the goals set were overly optimistic. Unattainable changes were expected in an impossible time frame. The campaign set seven targets, some focused on health, increasing life expectancy, lowering child mortality, while others related to education, early education, school attendance, year 12 attainment, literacy, and numeracy, and employment. As a result, only early education and year 12 attainment goals are being worked through. The improvements regarding early education are still not sufficient despite the progress. The gap between Aboriginal and Torres Islander populations and non-Indigenous Australians is still considerable due to cultural exclusions and access constraints. The promised but not reached changes are likely to worsen the Indigenous people's lives throughout time. For example, Oscar believes that campaign failures endanger Aboriginal lives. The indigenous population is more vulnerable to various diseases and lacks health care. Instead of the expected improvements, the failure to achieve the goals led to an increase in the number of imprisonments, homeless, unemployed, and a record number of suicides. Insufficient cooperation One of the main reasons for the failure of the Closing the Gap campaign was the lack of government cooperation with the indigenous people. The dominant society dictated its own rules without considering cultural counterfactuals with the second one. The government of Australia set the program's primary targets without much involvement of the indigenous population's representatives, which led to failure. The existence of cultural differences and values, as well as the unwillingness to take them into account, entailed the creation of ineffective strategies. Subsequently, some researchers suggested that the campaign's direction should be changed and more attention should be devoted to the indigenous population rather than closing the gap between societies. The criticism of this aspect led the government to accept the need for Aboriginal and Torres Islander people's contribution. The next step was creating a renewed list of 16 targets with the help of indigenous representatives. Conclusion Improper planning and incorrect strategies led to the failure to reach closing the gap's targets. Aboriginal and Torres Islander people waited for perceptible improvements for more than 10 years, but just two of seven goals were met. One of the government's significant mistakes in this campaign was to ignore cooperation with the indigenous population. Lack of understanding of the cultural differences entailed making incorrect decisions and wrong outcomes.